less than four six using more than one pair of congruent triangles. So let's review real quick what method have we used so far. It's side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, HL. These were postulates. These were theorems. You don't need to know that, but it's not a bad idea in that you remember that we have to prove these sometimes. And after we prove that two triangles are congruent, how do we prove that triangle parts are congruent? Hopefully you remember. Corresponding parts. of congruent triangles are congruent, also known as C, P, C, T, C. This didn't really pop up much on your last quiz, and on your test coming up will be what we call a skeleton proof, because we, we realize it's very challenging stuff. So a lot of people are panicking a little bit about this point, and don't. You're getting there. I'm going to do something very challenging. I expect you to be able to do it. So we use a triangle to prove parts congruent and then use those parts to get to another triangle. So let's just take a look. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Angle 5 is congruent to angle 6. Pause the recording in a second and tell me which triangle is going to be congruent. All right. I'm going to move on. It looks to me like we're going to get these triangles here. Because of angle, side, angle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Even though I really don't know where I'm going. I'm going to start with that and see where it takes me. I'm zooming out a little bit so we can see what's going on here. Before I go any further, you might want to try and do this part of the proof before I do. It's really important to try these yourself, even if you go in the wrong direction. You make a big mess out of the page. It's fine. So, I've proved a couple triangles congruent. Now, I'll use those. The next one. I need angle 3 and angle 4. So what I really need to know is how to prove this triangle congruent to this triangle. So once I get those, I can pull angle 3 and 4 off by CPCTC. So I'm going to pull something off by CPCTC first. I believe I've just proven ABC and ADC, so I can pull these off. AB is congruent to AD, and that's by CPCTC. I just proved them congruent. The next step will be CPCTC. Most of you remember that, not all of you. Now, I'm looking at this triangle here. I've got side and an angle. I need another side, so I can take off AO. And whenever I write something's congruent to itself, that's reflexive. Now, I can say they're congruent.
and side angle side is y. Now all that hard work's finally going to pay off. I can say that angle 3 is congruent to angle 4 by CPCTC. That's challenging stuff. You may want to do something like this over here. Well, I know I can prove triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC, and then I'll pull off part AB is congruent to part AD, and then I'll go for triangle ABO is congruent to triangle ADO. And you might want to write that plan out and then try and take all that and put it into the proof. It is not easy. I'm not going to explain this next one. I'm just going to do it. It's on the next side. You might want to try it first. Put out a little sketch over here. See what you can do. But I would re pause the recording before I do it and then give it a shot yourself. And now I'm going to do it. T and RV and T and NV. That looks like a side, side, side to me. RN congruent to RN by reflexive. Triangle RTN congruent to triangle. RVN by side, side, side. Now I have a problem. I haven't really figured this out yet. I'm looking for TS and VS. That's TS and VS. Hmm. Let's see now. I have a side. I can definitely use this side down in here. That's this piece here. But I don't have this angle. I know this angle is congruent and this angle is congruent. If I see PCTC. So I could go back and figure things out from there. Boy, that's a pain. I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe I should go for the big one. Maybe I shouldn't have done this at all. Maybe I should cross all this out and start from scratch. This is what we do. It takes some time. No, I definitely had to do that by side, side, side. Because at this point, I don't know that angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent. So let's pull angle 1 and angle 2 off. Angle 1 has to be congruent to angle 2. So I have to get angle 1 and angle 2, and I pulled those off by CPCTC because I already had this whole triangle and this whole triangle congruent. So it looks to me I've got angle 1, I've got side, I can use that side down the pipe. I can go with RS is congruent to RS. That's reflexive. And then I think I'm almost there. I've got this, I've got this angle, I've got these sides left over. That looks a lot like side angle side to me. So I will go with triangle RTS is congruent to triangle RVS by side angle side. And then I can finish off with TS congruent to VS by CPCTC. Remember, right after the triangle congruence comes CPCTC. We prove two, a triangle a pair of triangles congruent, and we pluck a side off. Very challenging stuff. Don't be upset if you're struggling. One more to try. I'm just going to slap up an answer, so you might want to pause this and take a shot at it yourself. We want A, B, C, D, so obviously we need this triangle and this triangle. Getting there might be a bit tricky. I see vertical angles. I'm going to label them angle 1 and angle 2. So here we go.
and I am being a little lazy with diagram, but remember the first thing we like to do when we get a diagram is show everything that's in the diagram. So I don't think that's such a bad thing. Um, I grab my vertical angles. I'm going to guess that I need them right away. And looks like I've got angle side angles. So let's go for a triangle congruence. Triangle XOB is congruent. X is Y. YOD. So far, so good. I think I can pull off XB now and DY now from CPCTC, and that should get me where I'm going. XB is congruent to YD. We just did a triangle congruence, so CPCTC is next. Now I've already got this, and I've already got the angle, I've already got this, I've already got the angle, so I don't need to do anything else. It's already there. I can just jump straight to the triangle congruence. Triangle AXB is congruent to triangle CYD. And that's by side angle side, because we know that these were pulled off by CPCTC. And last but not least, AB is congruent to CD, CPCTC. Don't panic. This is doable stuff. It's not easy by any stretch of the imagination. That's my whole point in having extra practice. But you can do it, especially when you consider on the test we'll give you. We'll give you a skeleton proof so that you have to work out just the, the details, not the whole plan. Good luck.